So in this piece of animated fan art, I guess, um, I have the character 5 from Umbrella Academy, time slash space traveling between two of the locations from season 1. And in this walkthrough, I'll show you the basics of using the new mask system in Grease Pencil 2.83 and Grease Pencil 2.9, as well as blending modes to add lighting, shadows, uh, texture and details to uh, character animations. So here I have a completed background and an animation of the character that I have filled in with some flat colors. I have separated different parts of the scene into different grease pencil objects and the character, which is its own grease pencil object, also is split into a bunch of layers. Um, this is going to be useful later when I use masks to give certain layers some texture and details. So to create the lighting and atmosphere of each of the setting backgrounds, I have added a sort of filter over each of them. And to integrate the character into each setting better, I'm going to apply the same filter layer over the character as well. I'm first adding the same materials that I used for, uh, for this with the backgrounds into the grease pencil object that contains my character animation. And I don't want the line art and the, the lightning effects that I've added uh, to be affected, so I'm making two new layers for the filters underneath those layers. Um, I'm going to use the square tool, or the rectangle tool I guess, and I'm filling in the area which I want this lighting effect to occur. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to add and reduce the opacity until I'm satisfied with how it looks on the character. So right now the layer affects the whole space that I've drawn in, but I want it to work only on the character. Um, I'm going to tick the masks checkbox and under it I'm going to add all the layers that I want the masks to affect. So for this project that is all the layers that contain the fill colors of the character. And I follow the same steps with the night scene on its layer. And now it sort of looks like the character fits into the lighting and atmosphere of each scene. Um, next I'm going to add some shadows. And I'm going to make this layer a mask over the color layers as well so that the shadow fills don't leak outside the character. And I'm changing the blending mode and opacity level of that as well. Now I can easily add shadows to the character without having to worry about it going outside of the lines. Um, just as an example, here's what it looks like without the mask switched on. And I'm making sure that the shadows respond to the light sources in each frame as I draw them in. So you can also use masks to add textures to certain layers. So I'm going to add uh, the argyle pattern that he has on his sweater. I'm first creating a new material and I am adding the argyle texture to it instead of a solid fill color. Um, I'm going to tick masks and then I'm going to add just the layer with the sweater fill to the list. And I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit so a little bit of the material under it shows through. And now this texture has been added to um, his sweater in all the frames. I used the same method but this time with a half tone texture to add um, a little texture to certain elements of the background uh, with the blending mode set to multiply. And I finally created a mask over just the coat layer to add a final detail which is the red stripe that he has on the lapel and cuffs of his coat. And as a final step I added some sound and there you have it, the finished animation. The files for this animation are available for download for free, so click the link in the description if you want to get them. And also consider joining our Discord family if you want to hang out with some other creatives and our team here at Motion Miracles. And see you guys in the next video.